Hey, friends! Ah, I'm so glad you stopped by because Scientist Jake came over for a visit to tell me about his grand adventure. You are just in time. Why, hello, friends! It is so good to see you! I was just telling Miss Jenna about my adventure. You see, yesterday, I decided I wanted to go on an adventure and go somewhere I had never been before. So, I got in my car and I just drove. And I took a left turn and then I took a right turn and I went all the different ways until I had no idea where I was. You had no idea where you were? So, uh, you were lost. That doesn't seem like the best idea. Oh, it's okay, Miss Jenna, because I had my phone and knew I could look at my maps when I finished my adventure. Okay, phew. <laughs> Anyways, I knew I would know the new spot when I saw it. It would just pop out at me and I'd say, that was what I was looking for. <laughs> and then I saw it. Where was it? What? what did you see? I saw the coolest and newest playground. And I was so excited. I parked my car and I ran to the playground. <laughs> I went and I did the monkey bars, and I had a blast! I mean, I just had so much fun on my adventure. Wow, that does sound like a fun day! I'm so glad you got to go on mini adventure and find such a cool new park! Adventures are always fun. Yay! You know, today we're going to talk about Saul, known now as Paul, and Barnabas and their adventure. We will get to that, but first, let's have a quick recap! Jesus has finished his father's plan here on earth and has returned to heaven. Jesus left us the helper, the Holy Spirit. We've been learning how now Jesus sends us and gives us a job to do. Kids can do big things too. Last week we saw how Jesus is for every tribe, every nation, every person. Jesus gives his love and sacrifice as our savior freely and to all. This week we're going to see Paul and Barnabas get sent out by the Holy Spirit to go on an adventure, to go out to preach the good news of Jesus. In honor of adventures, let's all stand up for this week's adventure, Dance, Dance Break! Man, I am winded. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. Thanks for dancing with me, friends. You can take a seat. Let's get ready for the adventure today in this week's Story Mode. In the church at Antioch, there were a number of prophets and teachers of the word, including Barnabas, Simon, Lucius, Menean, and Saul. Remember Saul? One day, he was against all believers. And the next, God met him on the road to Damascus, and he was completely changed. Now Saul is at the church in Antioch. Anyways, while they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Go and partner with God to share the love of Jesus with those who do not know him. Bye, friends. We are being sent by the Holy Spirit. We will miss you. Keep us in your prayers. So Saul and Barnabas and their assistant Mark, known as John, were directed by the Holy Spirit to go to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. What an adventure the Lord is taking us on. We are off to Cyprus. I like the adventure, but this sure is a long boat ride. We will be there soon enough, Barnabas. When they arrived at Salamis, a city in Cyprus, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. From there, they crossed as far as Pathos, where they encountered a Jewish false prophet whose name was Elemis, who 
who also went by the name of Son of Jesus. He had gained influence as the spiritual advisor to the regional governor, Sergius Paulus. Hello, my name is Sergius Paulus. I am the regional governor. How do you do? This is my spiritual advisor, Elemis. Hello. Sergius Paulus was considered by many to be a wise and intelligent leader. I requested a meeting with you, Barnabas and Saul, because I want to hear the message of God's word. And we would love to share that message with you. Yes, the Lord has sent us. But Elemis, the sorcerer or magician, that's what its name means, stood up against them and tried to prevent the governor from believing their message. Proconsul Sergius, do not listen to them. Why, they do not know what they are talking about. They speak lies, lies. Saul, also known as Paul, stared into the eyes and rebuked him. Filled with the Holy Spirit, he said, You son of the devil, you are full of every form of fraud and deceit and an enemy of all that is right. When will you stop perverting the truth of God into lies? At this very moment, the hand of God's judgment comes down upon you and you will be blind. So blind, you won't even be able to see the light of the sun for a time. As Paul spoke these words, a mist of darkness fell upon the sorcerer, leaving him blind. And he went about seeking those who would lead him by the hand. Ah! I can't see! I can't see! Wow. Seeing all that has happened, I believe. And I'm amazed at the teaching of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Blessings upon you. And may we meet again. Farewell. Bye. So Saul, Barnabas, and John left Cyprus, having shared the good news of Jesus with the people. John returned to Jerusalem. And Saul, remember, he also goes by Paul, and Barnabas, headed to Perga in southern Turkey to embark on their next adventure on their journey to share the good news of Jesus. Wow, I love that story. Paul and Barnabas were sent out by the Holy Spirit from the church to go and do the Lord's work. They obeyed and what an adventure they went on. They got to share the good news of Jesus Christ with others. They broke off lies from Elemis and they saw Sergius come to believe. Their adventure didn't stop there. We will keep learning how they go on many, many more adventures and see lots of other cool things too. Remember, kids can do big things too. We don't have to go around the world to share some of the good news of Jesus. The Holy Spirit helps us complete the job God gave for us right now. We can start doing our job right now by honoring our parents, being kind to others, whether they're being kind to us or not. We can show the love of Jesus by learning more about him and sharing what we learn with the people God places in our lives. Don't forget that our prayers are powerful. Obeying the Holy Spirit is always an adventure because we serve a good father who has good plans for us and loves us no matter what. We sure do. God's adventures are my favorite kind of adventures. His adventures are always good. That's right, Scientist Jake. I always enjoy when you come for a visit. Thanks for spending time with me and our friends today. Anytime, Miss Jenna. Have a great week, friends. And until next time, bye! bye.